Good evening, I'm Brian Reagan. This is Tyler Kelly. And uh, we welcome you back to our Twilight Talks. Tonight we are in 2 Chronicles 18, verses 12 through 27. Tyler. Then the messenger who had gone to call Micaiah spoke to him, saying, And now listen, the words of the prophets with one accord encourage the king. Therefore, please let your word be like the word of one of them and speak encouragement. Micaiah said, As the Lord lives, whatever my God says, that I will speak. Then he came to the king, and the king said to him, Micaiah, shall I, we go to war against Ramoth Gilead, or shall I refrain? And he said, Go and prosper, and they shall be delivered into your hand. So the king said to him, How many times shall I make you swear that you tell me nothing but the truth in the name of the Lord? And then he said, I saw all Israel scattered on the mountains as sheep that have no shepherd. And the Lord said, they ha These have no master. Let each return to his house in peace. The king of Israel said to Jehoshaphat, did I not tell you that he would not prophesy good concerning me, but evil? Then Micaiah said, Therefore, hear the word of the Lord. I saw the Lord sitting on his throne and all the hosts of heaven standing on in his right hand and in his left. And the Lord said, Who will persuade Ahab, the king of Israel, to go up that he may fall at Ramoth Gilead? So one spoke in this manner, and another spoke in that manner. And then a spirit came forward and stood before the Lord and said, I will persuade him. The Lord said to him, In what way? So he said, I will go out and be a lying spirit in the mouth of all of his prophets. The Lord said, You shall persuade him and also prevail. Go out and do so. Therefore, look, the Lord has put a lying spirit in the mouth of these prophets of yours, and the Lord has declared disaster against you. Then Zedekiah, the son of Chiniah, went near and struck Micaiah on the cheek and said, Which way did the spirit from the Lord go from me to speak to you? Micaiah said, Indeed, you shall see on that day when you go into an inner chamber to hide. And the king of Israel said, Take Micaiah and return, home, return him to Ammon, the governor of the city, and to Joash, the king's son, and say, Thus says the king, Put this fellow in prison and feed him with bread of affliction and water of affliction until I return in peace. But Micaiah said, If you ever return in peace, the Lord has not spoken by me. And he said, Take heed, all you people. All right, so... <clears throat> what do we learn here? Um, Ahab, he knows that his course of action is wrong already. He knows his prophets are all lying to him. And he knows, you know, that Micaiah, now some people, well, Micaiah said he was only going to say what the Lord said, and then he came up and, right. Because why? Zedekiah, son of, what? Ki, ne, ana. Yeah. It's tough. Yeah. It's a tough word, right? So he he's like, here's what we've already said. Make sure you back us up on it. So Micaiah, Micaiah's like, fine, whatever. Go up. You'll prosper. Everything will be great. And I imagine that's about how he said it. I don't. I don't imagine you know that he that you know he said it with solemnity of you know you know go up and triumph. They shall be given into your hand, O king. I don't I don't think that's what he said. I think he probably went and said, Yeah, go. Triumph. They'll all be given into your hand. Is that what you wanted? You know? Because Micaiah knows what? Ahab only likes to hear what he likes to hear. He hates Micaiah. Micaiah, no, Micaiah knows it. I, I, somehow I don't think Micaiah is a big fan of King Ahab's. Um, and, uh, and now Ahab is mad at Micaiah and he's mad at Jehoshaphat because he says, see, look, I told you everything he prophesies about me is bad. Novel idea. How about you change your course of direction and then maybe you can prophesy something good. If you're on a road that has a 200 foot long bridge that's been taken down and it drops 3,000 feet in a canyon and every person and every sign says, stop, turn around or you're dead. How is it everyone else's fault for saying what you don't want to hear? And then a group of people come out and they say, stop for a second. We want to tell you something awesome about this trip. And they say, if you go forward, you're going to see vast expanses. It will be awe inspiring and it will captivate your soul as you come to the edge of the bridge and move forward. 
Yeah, finally, someone who told me what I wanted to hear on my trip. And you know what? Those people would be true. It will be a breathtaking view. It will take your breath away when your car goes over the edge of the cliff as you're plummeting to your death. You might even reach terminal speed. And it will be awesome. And it will totally captivate you. And you'll never have another trip quite like that one. Okay. People are the same today. Um, you know, and then we've got this other issue and, and maybe we'll look at it next week. Some people say, but the Lord put a lying spirit. Mm -hmm. Sure he did. Because, and here's where you're stuck. Okay, people, I thought God was truth. Right, he is. But what, what is it this angel says, ultimately? The Lord says, who will go down and, and deal with these false prophets? And one of the angels says, I'll go down, i got a plan. And the Lord says, what's your plan? I'll go down, I'll give them a lying spirit. Oh, good, good. I like it. Now that makes it sound like God is the endorser and the father of lies among the angels. But now reframe it in our way of understanding reality. Tyler comes to me and I say, Tyler, what are we going to do about our enemies over here? And Tyler says, you know what? I'll go to them and I'll encourage them to go on ahead and say what's already within them. And uh, they'll speak lies and they'll have a lying attitude about them because that's what they are anyways. And I'll just go on ahead and encourage them in their path that they're already set on. And I go, all right, man, sounds good. Now some of you are going, oh, shouldn't they have tried? What do you think, Tyler? You think the Lord had already tried to tell them a different path? His name was Elijah. Elijah. How many priests of Baal? A lot. 450. 450. So these 400 have already done, seen this, and now they're upstairs. Really? This? They had the word of truth. They rejected it. They had the word of truth. They tried to kill him. They got another prophet who speaks the word of truth. They're all against it. So when you walk up to someone, you go, you know, it sounds great. Roll with it. That's a fantastic idea. Now, all of you are going, well, you know you don't mean it's fantastic. Right? But it's not like you're going to listen anyways. So, have at it. Have at it. And oddly enough, what Micaiah does is he does expose and transfer that lying spirit because in his sarcasm, he confirms them in their lie as he then speaks the word of truth. And what is their response? What is their response? Beat the fire out of him, put him in prison, and don't let him out until I'm back. Wow. So, you always have to ask yourself, which side of these things are you and I on? Some other thoughts, my brother? No, sir. All right. With that, Lord willing, we'll see you in the morning. Until then, remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe. All right, see you in the morning.